Hello, thank you for stopping by Kyle's blog. This is Kyle's 84th video. In this video here, I'm going to be in the book of Romans, chapter 1, beginning with verse 14. And in this video, I'm going to speak on, and the main issue I'm going to bring out is not being ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, I, and I'm also going to speak on not judging between different types of people, even in terms of like social classes and whatnot, or, or stereotypes, or race, or anything. So in saying that, Romans 1 verse 14 says, I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein, in the gospel of Christ, is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. And these are powerful verses and ones that have to be alive deep inside of us, especially in terms of wishing to take out and fulfill the commission of Jesus Christ, taking out the kingdom of God and touching other people in this world who are unsaved and bringing them and speaking the kingdom of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, about Jesus, and hopefully God working through us to touch that person, and then they too would be saved. Always remember that you're saved. And always remember that there's many people out there that aren't. And it's for us to be the witnesses and the examples of Jesus Christ in word and deed. Paul starts off by saying here in verse 14 that he's dead or both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. And this is something that we have to remember ourselves. We are not only debtors to those who we deem uh, appropriate to hear the news of Jesus Christ. Take, take, for instance, and think of Jonah. Who did God send Jonah to? He sent him to the city of Nineveh, to people who Jonah didn't want to preach to. But God sent him to the people that he didn't want to preach to. And that's the same case with us. At times, God may lead us to speak to people we don't even want to be around. We, we might think the way they live life is foolish and even barbaric. But regardless, though, we are debtors to all people in terms of the kingdom of God. And we are to be witnesses and ready at all times to be witnesses to people of all kinds, to those of the upper class in society and to those in the lower class of society, those who are educated and those who are uneducated. We are to be ready to be the witnesses of Jesus Christ and to carry the love of God towards all those people. Therefore, guard yourselves from judging between certain social classes races or anything else all are equal in the sight of god and the salvation of god goes to all people god doesn't look at anybody in terms of partiality in terms of social class or anything like this paul then goes on to say in verse 16 that he is not ashamed of the gospel of christ why because it's the power of god unto salvation to everyone that believes to the jew first and also to the greek also to the greek everybody who's not a jew follows under that the gospel of Christ, of Jesus Christ, the good news of salvation by God's Son is for every single person. To those who are good, to those who are bad, to those who are educated, to those who are uneducated. And we have to keep this in mind. And never be ashamed of that power of God, that gospel of Jesus Christ. Never be ashamed to have to say that I'm a Christian or, 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 or that I believe in Jesus Christ, that He is the Son of God, no matter how foolish it sounds, especially in the world today in these times but be ready at all times to be that example and never be ashamed of it I know some people would be saved and they're very free in, in proclaiming their salvation yet at other times there's people who come to the place where they feel weird about speaking about Jesus it doesn't necessarily make the person bad they may just be spiritually immature in the area of, of, of in terms of reaching out it's 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 very hard and difficult territory because they've never done it but look for those open doors though regardless to speak of jesus knowing that his good news his gospel of, of of salvation through him is for every single person never be ashamed of it here it's called the power of god and never differentiate between people let god be the one to judge but look as a but look at everybody as God looks at the people, everybody needing a Savior through Jesus Christ, whether rich or poor, 
Whether educated or, un or uneducated, all people are the same in the eyes of God. There is no partiality with him. Let there be no partiality with us. But be ready to be witnesses and word and deed and speak of Jesus Christ. I thank you for stopping by Kyle's blog. God bless. Have a great week.